I'm going to show you how I make decals. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another episode of Frank and Curry's Homestead Model Building. I'm going to show you how I make my decals. Very simple. The software I use is called Greeting Card Factory. I'll put a link below in the description. So let's take you in the other room and we'll get started. First of all, you bring up the internet. I use Yahoo and I found it's the simplest and say you want to uh, do uh, some graphics or some pinstriping so let's go let's type in pinstriping designs we can go right down here to for vehicles okay then you go to your images and they'll bring you up designs okay see like this one here okay you look for the ones with a white background now you can go over here go to clip art this is this is where I go let's go down through here pick one out let's say we like this one right right here so you click on it bring it up just like that you hit save image as and it'll bring it up and when you save it so I just saved it. Now, minimize the page. I'll bring up Greeting Card Factory. Okay, this is what your Greeting Card Factory looks like. You click on Design from Scratch. 11 by 8 because that's what size your uh, decal paper comes in. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. So now, we want to add graphic from file, go to downloads, and here's that graphic. Okay, there's the graphic. Now, once you're here, if you move this and you get it too close to the edge, you'll automatically pull it right to the edge. I always stay out just a little bit. And then all you do is you take your, and you size it down to that, see that size right there. Now, right here, I go up here and I duplicate it, brings up another one, and then I just take it and I make it a little bit smaller, okay? And I'll hit duplicate again. And I'll even make another small one like that. So I got three different sizes now. Okay. So then I want to print it off. And we'll get it printed off here and I'll show you. Alright, I thought I'd bring you in here where uh, a little more lighting and a little easier. Once you print it off, you got it on your paper, like that, you take your part, this is just the back door off of the spare model I got, and you take it, and what you'll do is you'll lay it alongside, like this, and decide what size would look good on your part. Once you figure out your size, okay, give it a 
ones. One of the, one of the three, four, five, six, however many you want to put on your paper, then you save it. Okay? Save your project. You're going to be coming back. Or you can take your decal paper and print it out. Okay, once you get your decal that you want, like I showed you on the paper, you know better, okay? Then, the size that you want, you'll need this decal paper. I use the inkjet. This is uh, expert choice decal, item number 122, clear decal. You get three sheets. And you also can get it in a white. So you, you'll print out on a white. Then what you do is you'll take your lacquer clear coat. Make sure it's clear. And you'll spray it. You'll cover the decal you want. Give it a good coating, let it dry, then you can cut it out, cut whatever you need out of your sheet, so you're not wasting it, because these are kind of expensive, you know, just cut out your little piece, whatever, or put as many as you want on your whole sheet, and then you can do the whole sheet, and you spray it, cut that little piece out, well, I'd cut it out, and then spray it, you know, just hold them to have enough, so you have a clip or something, so spray it and let it dry. Another thing is you can also you know go into the, you like Yahoo search same area type in uh, emblem say you want an emblem for a Chevelle SS you want the SS emblem you can do the same thing you find it there it is right there do the same thing print it out Give it some different sizes, match it up to the size you need. All you got to do is just downsize it, upsize it, whatever, and you do the same thing. It makes it a lot easier on modern making, doing bottles. And another thing is, is a when you get the greeting card factory software. And I do believe it's like right around $49.99, something like that. You can do greeting cards, business cards, posters, craft projects. There's a lot of things that come with that software. Now let's go back in, and I'll show you some more. Another thing is, is you can use it in model railroading. You can do the same thing. And so you click on this. Another thing is, you can go here. And let's say edit photo. Okay, here it is. And you can adjust the contrast. See how much this is this is a before. This is the after. So you can you can take that and you can make it sharper, brighter, focus, adjust some of the color. But if you adjust it too much, it'll mess up your background. You got a flaw fixer, image layout, paint, special effects. I mean, you, you know, I don't use it, but so yeah, so you, you can do a lot of things with this. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope I helped want to teach somebody, especially you know, anybody that's into modeling, uh, model railroading. Anything like that. Hope this was some useful information. If you have any more questions, uh, put it down in the description and I'll try to answer them for you. If I need to make another video on it to show something easier, better, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I hope you enjoy it. I, mean, we, I enjoy every, every one of you. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Share it with some friends. We'll catch you on the next video, but most of all, 
Smile today, smile tomorrow, and you're going to smile all week, guaranteed. Here's some suggested videos for you. While you're here, why don't you check out some of these other videos that's going to be right up here, right in this area over, over here somewhere. Just watch it for in this area over here. Okay? Make sure you watch them. You'll like them. Bye.